Hey gang and welcome to this Strapi Crash Course where I'm going to show you how to use Strapi with React and GraphQL. So Strapi is what's known as a headless CMS, which is basically a content management system without the front end template. Now, traditional CMSs like WordPress bundle the back end part of the CMS where you add new posts or pages or other content with the front end, which might be a theme or some template or other. Now, those two parts are often connected together and you'd have to work around the WordPress templating system to customize the front end. Now with a headless CMS, those two parts are completely separate. We basically chop off the front end templating part, which is referred to as the head. Hence why we're left with just a headless CMS. So we still have the back end part of the CMS, the admin panel where we can add content so we can easily create things like blogs, articles or some other content but it's entirely up to us as developers how to consume that content and what type of front end that's going to display it. Now, Strapi just takes care of the backend content management, then provides us with an API that we can use to grab that content from our own custom front end. And it doesn't matter how we make that front end. It could be just using HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript, or a framework like Vue. In this series, we're going to be using React. So our back end will be powered by Strapi, the headless CMS, and our front end will be using React. And our React application will just be communicating with Strapi to get content and then render it to our front end templates that we make. Now to do this, Strapi gives us an API with RESTful endpoints that we can use to fetch the data. For example, if we created blog posts and stored those in Strapi, the endpoints might look something like this forward slash blogs to fetch all of the blogs and forward slash blogs forward slash ID to fetch a single blog with this ID. And we could just use Axios then or the fetch API in our React application to make requests to those endpoints for that data. However, Strapi also works really well with GraphQL and we can easily generate a GraphQL layer that we can then use to fetch data as well. And that's primarily how we're going to be fetching data in this series. Now, for those not accustomed to GraphQL, don't worry, I'll explain it in more depth later in the course. But in a nutshell, it's basically an alternative to a REST API and it makes fetching data easier and more flexible in a lot of scenarios, especially when it comes to relational data. And we'll see that in action later on as well. So the project we're going to be building in this series is a simple games review site like this. It's going to list out a bunch of reviews on the homepage, each one with its own rating. And then when we click on read more to one of these reviews, it's going to take us to the details page for that review. We're also going to work with relational data in Strapi so that we can have review categories as well, which we're listing at the top of every page. And then if we click on one of these, it's going to only fetch reviews that are associated with that category. So we're relating the reviews to categories. So all of this front end is made with React and all of the data we showed, the reviews themselves, are created in Strapi. And then we're using GraphQL to query that data from our front end so that we can show it. And then we end up with this great site as a final result, which I'm hoping to launch soon to rival IGN's monopoly on game reviews. Now, before you start the course, I would highly recommend already having at least a basic understanding of React and React hooks, because that's what we're going to be using to make the front end of our website. Now, if you don't, then definitely check out my full React course. First of all, the link to that is going to be down below the video. It might also be beneficial if you've got a very basic understanding of what GraphQL is as well. But don't worry too much if you don't and you're new to it. I'm going to explain everything as we go forward and I'll give you a quick overview of the basics later on too. You're also going to need to have Node.js installed on your computer so we can create a Strapi and React project using NPX. Now, if you don't, then head to Node.js.org to download it and install it first of all. Very simple to do. And finally, I've uploaded all of the course files for this series on GitHub to this repo, Strapi Crash Course. I'll leave the link to this repo down below the video. Now, the only code in these course files is going to be for the front end, the React application, because we won't actually be touching the back end code for Strapi much at all. So 
This is the repo for the front end application that we make right here. And each lesson has its own branch in the code. For example, if you want the code for lesson seven, you'd select the lesson seven branch. And then you can download the code for this lesson by clicking the green button and grabbing the zip folder. Now, you'll also notice the first lesson branch in this dropdown is lesson five. So there's no code to download for the first four lessons. So that's your introduction to the course anyway. Next up, we're gonna see how to install Strapi and take a tour of the Strapi admin area. By the way, if you wanna watch this entire course now without YouTube adverts, you can do. It's all up on the NetNinja website, netninja.dev. You can buy the course for $2 to get instant access to all of it, or you can sign up to NetNinja Pro and get instant access to all of my courses without adverts, as well as premium courses not found on YouTube, including my Udemy ones. That's $9 a month, and you can get your first month half price when you use this promo code right here. So I'm gonna leave this link down below in the video description for you to sign up. And I really hope you enjoy this series, and please do not forget to share, subscribe, and like the videos. That really helps a lot and I'm going to see you in the very next lesson.